Blimey, it is cold this morning, isn't it? It's like minus six, which is pretty unheard of in the middle of England. But plan is for today, guys, we're gonna go and have to sort the sheep out. Yesterday, all the water froze up, which wasn't ideal. Luckily, we shouldn't have to feed them because we haven't had too much snow to cover the grass up and they've got a fair bit to go at. But we're on a rescue mission. We're gonna have to try and make sure every sheep on the farm has got drinking water because if they don't, it could end in disaster. So, I hope you enjoyed today, guys. If you do, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and once again, I hope you enjoy. Don't forget, check that merch store out too. Best be careful because it's gonna be icy. Look at that, minus six. Minus six. I know some people in the country, it's minus 12. So we were bailing haylage just under a month ago. Now it's minus 12, frosty, had a little bit of snow in the week. It's just madness, isn't it? The weather in the UK this year has not been predictable at all. For those of you that are watching, like I'm from Canada, you're probably like, what the hell are you worrying about? They are like used to minus 20, you can't get anywhere, they've got proper things for their wheels so they can get around in the snow. Whereas here in the UK, you get an inch of snow and it's shut down. Right, first stop of the day, we're just down at the tops. These are on the way to the farm, so we'll just jump into field and make sure that their water's all okay. Might just give these a bale of hay to keep them going, there's not loads of grass. But first job, obviously, these have a water bowels which is there that goes to the trough which is solid frozen. So I'm just gonna have to go and do this on every trough to make sure they've got some water to go out. Boy, man, look how thick that ice is. Boy, man. So let's pull these out. I reckon this one's a bit of a two-handed job. Just can crack it again, that would be ideal. I think that'll be all right, actually. There is nothing worse than blooming putting your hands into freezing cold, icy water. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna bring these either a small bale of hay or two and just chuck them into the feeder. A lot of people forget about their tups over the winter months and it is one of the most detrimental things that can happen to your flock. You gotta think, that is half of our genetics in the whole entire flock in five tups. If we don't look after them, the rest of the flock will suffer. So we need to keep them all cared for. Heater on, hands warming up. Because there's usually a lot of moisture in the grass, they won't drink a lot. So some people with cattle, they need to make sure they've got plenty of water in front of them. Whereas sheep, you just make sure that there's some water there for them, if you get what I mean. They're not gonna drink gallons, but some of them will just want a drink. So yeah, we'll make sure they've got some. First check, is the hose pipe frozen up or is it all right? Fingers crossed, it's frozen. We can't be forgetting the bunny sheep, can we? But well, yeah, that's them all fed. They didn't have the best of the scan the other day, so we had four scans, two singles and two barons out of the four years, which is slightly disappointed the first year we've got them. But it's not the end of the world because those two have still been tucked, they just got tucked a bit later on. And as we scanned late, it might just mean that they're in lamb, just not in lamb. Far enough down the line for us to see the lamb, so fingers crossed that's the case, but that's them fed. Same in here. Oh, this one is solid. Right, we can't find a shovel or a spade, so we're going for a sledgehammer. Oh, it's cracking it. Yes, it's working. It's doing the job. Oh, my neck, this is thick. We found some water. Oh, man, this is sad. There we are. Now for the worst bit. Oh, what we do for sheep. Better idea, we'll use a bucket. I'm happy with that, they can get water now and they don't just look like ice, so. Now, the next field, the ewe lambs are literally next door. So, same again. Whew, my hands are feeling this. Don't slip, don't slip. It's oh, icy. I think I'm gonna need to hit this a bit harder. Maybe not, straight through. Oh yes. Well, 
Well, that was easier than expected. Actually, the layer underneath wasn't actually that frozen. It was literally like a centimetre of ice. So we'll pull all these big chunks out. Mum will be happy too because all the horses now have water as well as the sheep. Are these big enough chunks just to... Just look how thick that is. That's got to be like five, six inches thick. You can make a sculpture out of these. Good job done. Now let's find a running tap so we can take some water over to the ewes as well as the tubs. No, yes, the tubs, they don't have a trough, but the fat lambs do. So that's the next job on criteria. And also grab a bale of hay to chuck in with those tops on the way past. One good thing about today, so yesterday it's probably about two degrees and it was overcast and felt awful. It's minus six and the sun's out and it feels about 10 degrees warmer. It's mad really, isn't it? Let's see if you work. Oh, that's promising. Yes. That was quick thinking by Grandma. She actually said the tap next to the house probably not frosty because obviously the pipe goes for the house. They're not outside, so that was lucky. Boy, this hay does smell good. Even with a cold like I have now, that smells nice and sweet. And, the <coughs> and these boys have already started tucking it into it really well. So we have all of them here, they're all in good condition. The main reason we have bought hay out to these today, guys, is just because if you look across the field, they haven't got tons and tons of grass, especially frozen over in here when the grass isn't too long. It's quite hard for these to get to where it's a bit longer. They can knock the frost off the top and graze it quite well. So we just wanted to help them out and give them a little bit of hay to go out too, as well as we've given them an energy bucket. Well, they've had an energy bucket for a long time, which just looks like this, which is a mixture of molasses, which is the brown. And you can see all the granules in there. That's just minerals. That helps the mineral balance in their body throughout the months to keep them all well and good. But yeah, we'll leave them now. Their water's all done. And we'll head over back to the ewes to give them some water in those buckets. So that is three buckets of water all sorted for the use just in case they need it as well as a mineral energy bucket we just pop that in as i had one spare for it wouldn't do any harm they are on a mineral drench at the moment and one of those systems but no harm giving a bit of energy block just as we go into this kind of weather but one cool thing i did forget to say so dallas keith who we used to get these from they have started doing biodegradable buckets which I've never seen from anyone else and they work really well so as the sheep eat them they biodegrade which is really cool and a lot better than the plastic the only downside is plastic buckets can come in handy so you could probably balance it out and buy like half biodegradable half plastic it's a really good thing so we'll just wonder up the use now one really handy thing with sheep is that they're really good at just getting their hooves in and digging off all the frost and eating the grass so as long as there is grass underneath they should be okay abba black tup is in here as i said a couple of videos ago we've just got to find him and he has actually tucked a couple of views in here single 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 man i think there's about a third single this year so there's 76 out of 217 normally we don't even get a quarter single so just shows that really dry weather and no grass about flushing time has affected them but we scanned at 173 percent for the a flock 150 percent for the b flock which is a lot down compared to normal but i think for the year i'm fairly happy with that you lambs all checked and looking well
you would not believe the thickness of some of this ice within this fat land field. I did this, what, 16, 18 hours ago. It's the last trough I did last night. Uh, we managed to break it all up and we just left a little bit there for him to get a drink from. But man, this stuff is frozen solid in like, what's that? At least four, five inches of ice in 16 hours. That is what minus six does. So that is all the tops all fed. They are all coming on so well now. So there's 12 in here. They did have a little bit of a stint in growth just about three, four weeks ago because I think they had they were just a little bit wormy and they just looked a little bit dull, if you know what I mean. Well, now they've come on a lot better. Their wool's just come up a bit nicer and um, they were short a little bit later than the Elans, so that could be why with that too. But really, really happy with all these guys. And what you do find with tups sometimes as well, they go through plateaus, so they'll plateau, look really good. Plateau, look really good. A bit similar with most sheep, really. And they just go through different growth stages, just like us as people, like when we're 13, 14, we'll suddenly go really tall and lanky and really skinny, then you fill out. It's a bit like that with the tups. But yeah, now what we're gonna do, sort this pond out so that they have some water. Right guys, so that is the hole all made up for the top lambs. Apologies, we have had a slight problem with audio and I didn't notice, but it is what it is. That is them all water sorted. What we've just done is banged a hole in the water right by the edge of the pond just so that they have something to drink. It is so, so important that all these animals always have water, guys. As we know, no matter what the weather is, us farmers have to be on hand to check these animals 24 seven every day. We don't just leave them one day and check them 10 days later because disasters can happen like this. The weather can be really cold, can be really hot. We just need to make sure all the animals on the farm have as much food and water as they can to keep them all okay. And we are basically their guardians. There's no one else looking after them. And for those people that might think they can look after themselves, you still need to check them and make sure if they're okay. You never know, you might get a poorly animal, the sheep can get out all these kind of things we need to make sure that they're all okay and especially now being a farming can ambassador i'm trying to show exactly what we get up to on the farm and to stop all those preconceptions that we don't care about our animals because if if someone said that to me i'd say you're bonkers i care a lot about the animals on the farm and we do our most to care for them and make sure they're all okay so i think that's a cool way to end the video guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and once again, I hope you enjoyed.